Well, hello. This is Rob Lawton from Trinity Episcopal Church in Southport, Connecticut, and I'm so glad that you've taken a few moments to join me out in the middle of your week to do a little reflecting on one of our scripture passages from this last Sunday and to do a little coloring with me. If you got this video by email from me, then you've got the attached coloring sheet. But if you came across this video some other way through YouTube or Facebook and you'd like that coloring sheet, please just send me an email at associate at trinitysouthport.org and I'll be really happy to get that to you so that you can join in with our coloring for this week. This last Sunday, the church celebrated All Saints Day, which is one of the principal feasts of the church, which is just a fancy way of saying big celebrations of the church. It's a day when we stop and remember all the glorious saints of God who have come before us, the saints we know who are with us now, and we even celebrate the saints who are yet to come in the future. Sometimes when we think of saints, we think of those special people that the church has officially called a saint in the past, but really a saint is anyone who reminds us of God's love here and now and whose works and good news inspire us to do the same. Our reading for All Saints Sunday is the Beatitudes, which is a very famous passage. You may recognize them. They all begin with, blessed are the, blessed are the, blessed are the. But did you know that the word blessed can also be translated as happy? In the Beatitudes, Jesus takes familiar words, images, and ideas and turns them upside down to make us think a little bit deeper about what happiness really is. So as I'm reading these Beatitudes, really think about them. Think about these words to find what may be the real meaning of life and faith and how to serve others might be found in these words. When the, Jesus saw the crowds, he went up a mountain. He sat down and his disciples came to him. He taught them saying, happy are people who are hopeless because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Happy are people who grieve because they will be made glad. Happy are people who are humble because they will inherit the earth. Happy are people who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, because they will be fed until they are full. Happy are people who show mercy, because they will receive mercy. Happy are people who have pure hearts, because they will see God. Happy are people who make peace, because they will be called God's children. Happy are people whose lives are harassed because they are righteous, because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Happy are you when people insult you and harass you and speak all kinds of bad and false things about you, all because of me. Be full of joy and be glad, because you have a great reward in heaven. In the same way, people harass the prophets who came before you. Jesus redefines the meaning of happiness in these Beatitudes. And maybe now, at this time of year, is our time to do so also. This is the time of the year when the sun starts to set earlier and earlier. The leaves on the trees are falling and the days are getting colder. On October 31st, we celebrated the darkness in All Hallows' Eve. Maybe you dressed up, you wore a costume, and you found a little bit of joy and life in that darkness. On November 1st, we celebrate the brightness in the Feast of All Saints. We remember and recognize the goodness of the souls that have gone on before us in the past year. We decorate the church in special ways. And though we mourn the loss of those in our lives, we celebrate and recognize where they are now. It is light and dark working together. 
as the picture that we're working on says, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Or in the reading I read earlier, happy are people who grieve, because they will be made glad. It's in times like these that we remember God is with us in the places of fear or pain. God brings us peace and light. I wonder, where do you see the balance of light and dark in the world? And who did you celebrate and remember this year on All Saints Day? I invite you to pray with me. Dear God, we remember all those saints with love who have died and are now with you. Thank you for putting them in our lives to love and to celebrate and bring comfort to everyone who mourns. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Thanks for taking a little time to reflect with me today. I hope you got some coloring in and that if you didn't get to finish it during the video that you'll take some time to finish it sometime today or this week or whenever you get a chance. Um, whatever the rest of your day looks like, I hope it's a good one. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Bye.